Hi friends, welcome. My name is Sarah. Welcome to EBC Kids Online. Happy Easter to each of you. This is such a special weekend, isn't it? I mean, I love all the candy and the egg hunts and chickens and rabbits but I also love learning about how much God loves me and how much he loves you and all the incredible things that Jesus did for us, how he died for us because he loves us so much. You know, it's sort of funny Easter because it makes me feel sad that Jesus had to die for all the sins and the wrong things that we do. But then I also feel happy that three days later he came back to life and he lives forever now. And I'm so thankful that we can follow him and someday live forever with him. So it's sort of a happy and sad weekend. Let's pray together about all of that. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you that we can learn about you. Thank you for my friends who are watching at home, Lord. I would help I pray that you would help them grow to know you more and to love you more every day. God, thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on the earth for our sins. And thank you that he came back alive three days later and we can love you and follow you and be with you forever. Amen. All right. Well, today we're going to learn Jesus loves you. Copy him and love others. But before we check in with HQ, let's sing a song of worship and thank God for what he did. Here we go.
Ready? One. Two. Three. Woohoo! Mine went farther. I win. Remember our agreement? I remember. You won, so that means I have to set up the refreshments at the Easter party. That's the way the airplane flies. <laughs> you know, that's a really cool way of deciding something. It's kind of like flipping a coin, but you get the awesome airplanes, too. <laughs> my little brother and I sometimes do this to decide on something. Oh, really? That's cool. You know, my brothers and I have a tradition, too. <laughs> Since I'm the youngest, they, they look at me and they go, <laughs> Make him do it. <laughs> oh, it's good times. So funny. Hmm. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Mike, and this is the Easter we had a special visitor. All right. A couple for you, and one for me. <laughs> hey, hey, Mike. Look at this. Okay. In the archives, you can see how many transmissions each person has done. Whoa. Mm -hmm. We've answered a lot of questions since we opened our doors. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Look at Dot's number. Yeah, she is five away from 500 connection transmissions. That's something to celebrate. Mm -hmm. See, I was hoping that we could do something special for her this afternoon at the Easter party. Mm, well, that's a, that's a little late notice, but what if we invite a special guest to surprise her? My sister Megan did that for me like two years ago, and Dot loved that. That's a great idea. You know what? Let's get on the phone and let's see who we can round up. Oh, but first, let's bean up. Okay. Bean me up, Scotty. Just finished up a connection transmission for Max. He was having a hard time finding ways to be nice to his sister. Oh, I find that hard sometimes, too. What did you tell him? The best way I know how to love someone. Copy Jesus. Jesus showed us how to love others. All you need to do is follow his example. That can be hard to do when you're dealing with a difficult sibling. Oh, sweet, naive Alyssa. It's like I told Max. Just remember, Jesus loves you. Copy him and love others. I do. Well, I try to. All I'm saying is that can be hard sometimes. Maybe, but I think when you've been copying Jesus for as long as we have, you become unstoppable, unflappable, unbuggable. Easy, Dot. <laughs> love isn't boastful. And it's one thing to copy Jesus' love, but we shouldn't brag about it. I hear you loud and clear. I'll stop saying we're unstoppable, but I won't stop believing it. She's in quite a mood today. <laughs> I think she's just excited about the Easter party. Ooh, I am too. Are we supposed to dress up? Well, not us, but I do think that Mike has something special. That sounds about right. Welcome, everybody, to the Easter party! See, Mike always wears his bunny suit. It's his favorite holiday. Just as long as he remembers the reason we celebrate Easter is because Jesus is alive. Trust me, he does. The eggs in the suit are just for fun. Oh, hey, 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 how'd your phone calls go? She wasn't available. She's throwing her own party. Oh, I know everyone that I called was busy, too. But I did find someone that I think Dot will love to see. What would I love to see? Ooh, um, uh, but, uh, but, uh, nothing. Uh, um, should we tell her about the surprise? No, Dot does not like surprises. Yeah. Are you kidding, man? I love surprises. But first, a toast. Attention, everyone. Tony discovered today that our very own Dorothy Dot to my friends. Has almost completed her 500th transmission. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, anyways, let's raise our punch glass to Dot. May we all be a little more like her. Well, you don't have to copy me. I owe it all to Jesus. Jesus loves you. 
copy him and love others. That's the point, and it's how I've made it this far. Now, what's this I hear about a surprise? Well, um, we just invited someone very special to the party this afternoon. Is it Joe Superior? <laughs> no! My sister Megan? No, nah, getting warmer. The Pope? How is that warmer? Um, Who is it? Well, do you remember earlier today you were talking about your family? Yeah, I... Wait. No! Not him! Oh. Hey, Daddy! No. No! Yay! Surprise! Whoa! Look at all the buttons in here! Don't touch. This is the hub. I've heard so much about it. Yep, and that's the end of our tour. Feel free to hop your little stuff onto a bus and head on home. Oh no, I'm staying. Tony said I could stay as long as I wanted. Tyler, this is my space and these are my friends. Don't. Exactly! You can't just come in here and mess with stuff. My stuff! Oh, come on, Dottie. Don't call me that. It's just one afternoon with your little brother. You won't even know I'm here. Hey, Dottie, come back to the party. Mike, can I have a word with you and Tony in the lounge? Sure. Don't wander off, Tyler. I won't. We just thought you would really enjoy seeing your brother, Dottie. Number one, don't ever call me that. And number two, don't ever call me that. Uh, come on, your brother seems really excited to see Connect HQ and your friends. Don't be fooled. My brother Tyler is like an alligator wearing a bow tie. He might look like fun, but he bites. He seems harmless. That's because he hasn't had any sugar yet. Well, then problem solved. We're in the lounge where all the sugar is. We just have to keep it away from him. You want some jelly beans? Yes! If that kid gets sugared up, he won't stop talking. He'll interrupt everyone. I'm sure it's just a little elevated because you're his sister. Trust me, it won't be long before he's telling embarrassing stories. Come on, it can't be that bad. I'm glad you were able yeah, to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've been wanting to get over here for some time. Just been busy with school and stuff. Well, it's nice to meet someone from Dot's family. Yeah, really, really great to meet her friends. Speaking of Dottie, did she ever tell you about the time she wet her pants at the zoo? My older brothers love to embarrass me. <laughs> we, we love to play this game called a Tony Trash Can, where, where they stuff me into a trash can. It, oh, man, it's, it's good times. <laughs> I'm worried about you, man. Dot, when it comes to your brother, it's like you said. Jesus loves you. Copy him and love others. But I said that to other people about their brothers and sisters, not my own. It's different. Well, when I have a hard time loving others, I remember this verse from the book of Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 2. Yeah, I remember it. Well, maybe you can teach it to me. Fine. Say it with me like this. Ephesians 5, 2. Ephesians 5, 2. Live a life filled with love. Live a life filled with love. Following the example of Christ. Following the example of Christ. I know this verse so well, I could sing it in my sleep. Loving other people, no problem. Loving my brother, big problem. Why can't I just focus on other people and let someone else love my brother? Hmm. Well, think about today. Easter is a great reason. Jesus was the ultimate example of love because he gave his whole life for us. We needed help and he helped us. He died for our sins. I think Tyler would really appreciate it if you tried to love him this Easter. But every time I try, I just get mad and act mean again. Then ask God for help. Jesus was sent to help us and change our lives. So if you find loving others hard, just depend on God. Thanks, guys. I guess I should go talk to Tyler. Don't. Don't. Tyler, I wanted to 
say? Down. There are jelly beans upstairs. Whoa, Tiger. I told you not to wander off. I didn't listen to you. This is exactly... You know, this is tough for me to say sometimes, but I wanted you to Whatever know... Whatever you're about to say, I'm all ears. It's especially tough for me to say if you're interrupting me. Sorry. I'm sorry I haven't exactly been a good big sister. I haven't been very loving to you. I feel loved. You do? Sure. I mean, I know we sometimes argue, but I know you love me, and I'm proud to be your little brother. You are? Look at everything you do here. You're unstoppable. But that's not why I do it. Can I show you something? This is one of my favorite videos from our archives. It's perfect for a day like today. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. is alive. Have you heard the story of how God so loved the world that he gave to all of us his only son? Jesus grew to a man, he healed the sick, he loved the lonely He gave God's love away to everyone Jesus gave it all The people followed him, they'd never seen that kind of love He loved them all no matter what they've done But not everyone was happy some of them were jealous They made plans to kill God's only son Jesus gave it all And one night while he was praying Some soldiers came to find him They took him to their rulers Who didn't know just what to do They asked the people gathered Just what they should do with him The crowds crucify him Though he did nothing wrong Jesus gave it all And the soldiers tried to break him The crowds they mocked and scorned They led him up a hill called Calvary And they nailed him to a cross Till he asked God to forgive them They didn't understand That it was all for you and me gave it all Jesus said he is finished then he took his final breath and the sky grew black as midnight and the earth began to shake and the crowd began to tremble they shook their heads in wonder and the soldiers said I know that this man was the son of God Jesus They took him off the cross They placed him in a tomb They rolled a large round stone In the doorway of the cave Some soldiers they stood watching Making sure no one could enter Jesus' friends were sad and hopeless As they all went home that day Jesus gave it all On the morning of the third day his mother Mary came to see him to make his body ready for the grave where he would lay but the tomb it was empty an angel came to tell her he's not here he's risen see the stone's been rolled away Jesus 
ultimate example of love. Jesus came to earth as a human to show us how to live. He died on the cross for all of us. He took the punishment for our sin. But the story didn't end there. It didn't? Jesus came back to life. He beat death and made it possible to be friends with God again. That's why I do what I do here, so I can tell the world about what Jesus gave for us. He gave it all. Yep. God loves you, Tyler, and I do too. Dot would you show me how to make a connection transmission? It seems like you're a pro at this point. Sure thing. My name is Dot, and I wanted to share one of my favorite verses with you. It's in the book of Ephesians. Say with me like this. Ephesians 5, 2. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. When we follow Jesus, we can follow his example loving everyone and everything we do. Jesus set the ultimate example of love. He came to earth and lived as a human to show us how to live and love God's way. He gave up his life on the cross to cover our sins, but that wasn't the end of the story. He came back to life. Jesus is alive to show us that we are worth dying for. When we choose to follow Jesus, we know real forgiveness. Jesus loves us so much. He did whatever it took to buy forgiveness for our sins. He set the example of how we should love others. And not just other people, even the people closest to us, like our brothers and sisters. He showed us how to love everyone. What do you think it looks like to love others the same way Jesus loves us? Do you set the same example? It can sometimes be hard, but remember, Jesus loves you. Copy him and love others. This week, you can choose to follow his example with the way you love the people around you. Happy Easter. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. What an awesome afternoon. I wish I could stay longer. I don't see why you couldn't. Dot said I should go, but I want to stay. It's been fun, but I'm sure there are things you have to get back to. Should I stay or go? We can't sign. Hmm. Well, hey, how about we use these? There you go. Okay, how about this? Tyler, if yours goes farthest, well, then you get to stay. Dot, if yours goes farthest, well, we say goodbye for now, Tyler. Okay, on my count. One, two, three! Yes! <laughs> Boy, I did not know that I was creating such a hubbub whenever I invited Dot's brother. I love my brothers. We, we play this awesome game where they make me eat the things that they don't want to, like uh, um, grass, stepped on chewing gum, bugs, litter box sand, ketchup. Don't like ketchup. <sighs> Good times. Easter is the celebration of the greatest event in history. Jesus came to earth, showed us how to live a life of love, died on the cross, and then he came back to life three days later. He did that for you and for me. And all he wants is a response. He wants us to follow him with our whole life. If you wanna make the decision to follow Jesus, all you have to do is remember your ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. If you want to make that choice today, be sure to talk to your Connect Small Group leader before you leave. Hey friends, if you made that decision to follow Jesus, I would love to hear about it so we can celebrate with you.
You know, that's what Easter is all about. Remembering how Jesus saved us so that we can be friends with him. He's our savior and he loves us so much. That is the best decision you could ever make. Well, today, since we're talking about the point that Jesus loves you, copy him and love others. We have a game to play. You're going to see a whole bunch of different pictures, and each picture on the screen has a copy or another of the same picture. So each picture will have two, but you need to find the picture on the screen that does not have a match. It has no copy. And we'll play a couple of rounds of it. Are you ready? Let's give it a go. Did you figure them out? Were you able to find the copy? 
If you want to make that even more challenging, you could rewind it and go back and see if with, with your family, if you can figure out what each of those pictures has to do with Easter, because they are all connected to Easter somehow. Well, friends, I hope you have an amazing Easter weekend. And remember, Jesus loves you. Copy him and love others. And if you haven't messaged me yet to let me know that you're watching the videos, get my mom or dad, get mom or dad to do that uh, so that we can add you to the list to send links for the coming weeks so you can keep watching. Love you guys, miss you guys. Hope you have a great weekend celebrating Jesus and what he's done for us. Bye everyone.